What's up? What's up, everybody? You tuned in to another episode of Strategic Moves. I'm your host, Ken Dow. This is the place where we bring art, culture, politics, and business all together. And we do it every Sunday right here on this channel. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about talent, raw talent. And when I say raw talent, there's a few people in this town who's been delivering and helping our young people use their talents to go to the next level. And the gentleman I have in my studio today is none other than Mr. Mark Harris. He Welcome to Raw Talent. Hey, let's go! Train with us or lose to us, and that will never change. Prime's at Colorado now, and so now, Look at that coaching staff, you know. It's diverse, but you're starting to get coaches. The majority of these kids are African-Americans playing in these leagues. We need black coaches. He's putting people on. Um, I had a chance to meet Prime twice. And it, man, it was a great story behind that. But I know for a fact that, yeah, he's still Prime, but his heart's in the right place. He just offered one of our kids. Yeah, really. He just offered Brian Robinson, this kid who comes down from Austin Town Fish. This kid is 6'5", mm. 255, 16 years old. What are you doing? He plays defense. He has 40 offers. 40 offers? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah, I he, I met him years ago, a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. He was a quarterback. He came down. Uh, his dad helped us get a van to go down to these uh, to, uh, 707 in, at Penn State. Mm -hmm. And I, he just wanted to watch. Raw talent. He's heard about him. His dad's want to watch. The kids want to watch. That kind of threw me off. Red flag. What kid comes all the way down here and just want to watch, you know? Mm -hmm. But he's a different type of kid. He wants to watch. Mm -hmm. He wants to see. And then he said, I want to train here. And then he just started coming all the way from Youngstown and training here two, three times a week. Jeez. And then we went to the showcase in Michigan on the way. You know me, if I'm going to go to a showcase, mm -hmm. if college coaches ain't there, we're going to do some college visits. Okay. So I took him to University of Toledo and they offered him. But no offer. He had no offers. Mm -hmm. They saw a size. They took my word. They said, this kid going to be the next. And they offered him. And mm -hmm. then from there, he just took off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so Coach Prime just offered him. Okay. And, um, you know, his heart's in the right place. He's going to do some powerful things in Boulder, Colorado, which has a story behind that. Yeah. That wasn't the most friendliest place to yeah. Americans. No, it wasn't. You know? really. And then the guy who was the coach who had them on the top, he's over one of the biggest Christian activists out. Yeah. Really? There's a big story behind it. I forgot that guy's name, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a coach mm -hmm. and ended up being one of the big time. He's on WCRF all the time. Like, he's big time. So let's talk about, um, you know, we were talking earlier before the show about these young guys and the change in things now. And you've been in it a lot longer than me. Anthony and my kids, they stopped. Anthony graduated. He's almost 30 years old now. Mark, believe that? Man, yeah, check that out. That brother's almost 30 years old, man. And he came to you. He was in middle school, yep. right? So he's been out, and Brandon is thirty. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> now Brandon was a real fast kid. Yeah. Hey, there's another. I saw you know, Brandon not too long ago. Really? Like, I forgot where it was that. He was like Mark Coach Wilder. Oh yeah. Now, you had a lot of kids like yeah. Brandon. Can't do their had the talent and everything, and just now. What What do you think? How, how that makes you feel? I know you had a lot of those kids come through, and you just be like, this kid, if he could just focus. Well. Football is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. And when I when you ask me what is raw talent, I say it depends what you ask. Mm -hmm. To a certain aspect, raw talent is a ministry. Mm. Dad called it a sophisticated daycare center. And he said, if you're not careful, it's a ministry. Mm. He said, so be careful what you do and what you say on his kids and be consistent. Mm -hmm. Mark, I know your temper. I said, nah, Dad, mm -hmm. I got you. And I always wanted to be an example because football is just a tool. Mm -hmm. You can't use it all your life, right? but you can use things that you learn from it throughout life. Mm -hmm. And so, so, so what that some kids didn't become football stars mm -hmm. for a couple of years, they weren't getting in trouble right. for a couple of years on Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. Parents knew where their kid was at mm -hmm. and they trusted some of the parents. I thought I was just leaving. They would just drop them off, but majority would stay and watch the show. They want to watch the show. Yeah, right? But, they, those kids were around the community. Those kids met other kids, and something came out of that. Now you best believe when they left them out of your spot, they weren't going nowhere but home. <laughs> <laughs> you leave them out of there yeah. on a Saturday, yeah. man. It was like they, they was going home. They was yeah. like, I'm home. I'm done yeah. for the night. That's for sure. 
So it, it is sort of like a ministry, and you do a lot of work with these kids. And oh. it's strategic moves with Ken Dow. This is strategic moves with Ken Dow.